So when you've renamed all of these bone weights, you then need to delete the unused 098 one by selecting it and then just click delete and it's gone. That's very simple. So now we've got our fully rigged announcer model, press Control S to save it. It's vital that you save it, otherwise what if your computer crashes, you'd have to do it all over again and listen to my boring droning voice all over again just to rig the same model. So just type a name and then save it. That way you don't have to do anything all over again. Go back to layer 2, press A to select everything, and move it all back to layer 1. So the first thing you notice is that the skeleton doesn't properly fit the model. We'll sort that out in a minute. First though, hide the uh, skeleton and hide the face as well and select these two eye parts. You can join them into one eye part just for now to make it easier to position them and then press Alt H to unhide the announcer head again hide the skeleton select the eyes and just position them as best you can in the middle of her eye sockets she looks a bit demented so we can move them in press edit on them, select one eye and then move it in and then when you press G on your keypad use the middle mouse button to select the horizontal axis or just press X and then type in 0 0.003 that moves the eye 0.003 units to the right. Then select the other eye, press G, select the X axis, and then type minus 0.003, and it moves the eye 0.003 units to the left. So the eyes are then in position. The mouth is probably in position, it isn't. Okay, so what you need to do is go into the side view by pressing uh, numpad 3 on your keypad and then just move it until it's about there it's quite simple that's just that's how you position the mouth it doesn't have to be perfect the mouth it rarely is um, in my models because well no one's perfect so now that you've done those you can see that there's a big gap in the eye socket so select the eyes again and select them all and then just move them forwards until they fit better into her eyes like that, see? Much better. Now on the eyes, back in edit mode, press P and then choose by material. It separates the model into different parts based on the, the texture that they use. So obviously the eyes use one part and the eye irises use a different part. So they're both separated like that. It's very simple, very quick and very easy. So now unhide the skeleton. This bit's quite tricky for skeleton editing. Unhide, uh, sorry, hide everything else and then press tab on the skeleton. Immediately before you do anything else select these two dots here and these two dots here and move them up ever so slightly by a tiny amount just like that and then left click unnoticeable amount but otherwise the skeleton won't work properly then come down here to just above the pelvis bone beneath the spine bone right click on the dot here and then move that forward slightly. This means that because Blender doesn't like so-called zero-sized bones, they're called, so it will just delete them. So you need to separate the bones from each other, like we've just done with the eyes and with the hips there. Otherwise, ben Blender will just delete the bones, and then the armature won't work with the model. So now you've done that. Exit edit mode again by pressing Tab and check here. It sh it shouldn't say on this bottom line here. It should not say removing zero size bone root hips or removing zero side bone eye eyelid left upper or something like that. It shouldn't say that. If it does say that, then you've done it wrong. Uh, undo what you've just done by pressing Control Z, and then just do it all again and make sure that you don't get any uh, zero size bones removed here. Um, I haven't. So good. So now that you've done that, you can then freely edit the model. I wouldn't delete any bones at this point in case you screw anything up. We'll just make them unused in Notepad later. So what you want to do now is unhide the announcer model, left click, right click on the skeleton and click X-ray so that you can see the bones through her model. Click tab and then press B and select this hand part. Um, then you just want to position it kind of in the shape of her hand like this. This can take some time uh, based on how much time you're willing 
uh, to spend sorting out the skeleton. Like that. Then for the face bones, select all of these bones here and then view from the side, numpad 3, and then just move it so that the mouth pretty much fits like that. And you'll notice the eye bones, which are here, don't properly fit the actual eyes. So again, scale like we did with the face, scale the skeleton up slightly, and then just move into position like that. And then obviously remember you have to rotate it on the x-axis as well, like we did. Like just like that. It's probably too much. So just like that. And then you've positioned the model skeleton for the model. Uh, don't forget to position the other hand as well. It's, it's a waste of time trying to mirror the bones here because it takes just as long to mirror them and rename them all as it does to uh, just remove the skeleton. Just move it all into position. It takes longer. So just do all this by hand again. So when you've done that, the model is pretty much rigged. Don't forget to position the legs. And the knees. And obviously the ankles, don't forget to put the ankles in the right place. So now that we've done all that, the model is rigged. It may not be perfectly rigged, but it's still rigged. So you want to start naming it ready for a, a mesh file. So right click on the head and see here, just left click there and type 2 underscore face underscore 0.1 underscore zero underscore zero that makes it a ready for generic item function for X and a Lara then select the body and do the same to body 0 0.1 0 0 and then for the hands obviously again two hands 0 0.1 0 0 now for the face actually sorry I forgot you don't want two you want it as three three underscore face underscore zero point one underscore zero underscore zero because there isn't any bump map for the face you can generate your own if you want but that's not covered in this tutorial so three you want it set as three rather than two um, that's covered in my generic item tutorial uh, three is for diffuse texture and light map texture and nothing else so again press control s to save it just in case and then click file export mesh s ascii ext and then browse to your folder and then name it generic item dot mesh dot ascii and then export don't click multiple files I don't know what that's for but it doesn't work click OK hopefully you shouldn't get any errors come up on the screen don't move the mouse it should say something like there have been two warnings or there have been five warnings or however many warnings there have been it, they sh it should not say python script error check console if it says that you're going to have to check the console and try and post comments on this video to find out what the problem is because i don't know what you've done wrong i haven't done anything wrong so you shouldn't have either if you have then shame on you